forget about Ross. Look, he's back. God, it was terrible, Tom. Oh. These scallywags, they took me from my home. They put me <laughs> in a hole in the ground. They would only bring me up to cook meth. <laughs> They would then put me back in this hole, Tom. They would feed me ice cream sometimes, that would be nice. But then luckily, this nice bald man would know what my gun, he came and saved me. And I drove away, lived in Alaska for a week, and I'm back down here because I don't like the cold. Netflix this summer. <laughs> Exciting. Here's some news. David Benoit wants to wrestle as Chris Benoit Jr. We have the reason behind a Raw Stars recent push and an update on an injured NXT star. More on that soon. So we've heard for the first time from David Benoit, the son of Chris Benoit. I sat down with Chris Van Vliet just the other day. Chris Van Vliet's a phenomenal interviewer. It was an unbelievable interview because you could see that David was sort of a bit awkward, a bit unsure, not used to being interviewed, but then Chris was just like, they're there, pal. Yeah. They're there. He's, a, he's, he's excellent <laughs> like that. He's, a, he's very much the measuring stick for interviewers. Uh, a lot of stuff came from this uh, interview, uh, including WWE uh, banning David Benoit briefly from their shows because yeah. he was seen having a photo with Tony Khan. That is Vince McMahon's pettiness 101. <laughs> oh. I presume. We all presume that, don't we? It was, what was David saying? He was, he was trying to speak to somebody on the roster who he wouldn't name and they didn't reply for five months. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> like, what have I done wrong? Uh, the the other thing that was discussed was, of course, his dad, uh, Chris Benoit, and and David Benoit does does believe, or at least he believes, that he should be in the Hall of Fame, and he thinks it's something that will happen eventually. And he talks about how he wants to honour his dad in his wrestling career. I mean, on the surface, as he was saying upstairs, when people came down here, this is just a son wanting to honour his dad, but unfortunately, his dad did a thing. Yeah, and it's, it's a really hard. It was a really hard interview to watch because he just felt so sorry from the moment where he sat there and went, "I need this." And he was getting a bit emotional, and Chris yeah. was like, "Are you okay?" He said, "No, I need, I need this. I need to get off my chest." I was like, "Oh, it's, it's heavy stuff. It's incredible." But then he talks about how um, he wants to honor his dad in his wrestling career. Uh, he wants to get back into it and wrestle. Uh, he's got he's not just not just a, same, a similar technical style to his dad, Chris Benoit. Not just wrestling the similar gear, like he's got Chris Benoit style blue tights with the Wolverine slash on it. Uh, not only with uh, his same music, he's been in conversation with Our Lady Peace, who sang Whatever, which is Benoit's theme tune. Uh, he actually wants to go under the name Chris Benoit Jr. Which uh, he can do, because his middle name is Christopher. My, uh, sorry, David Christopher Benoit. He absolutely can do. It's just, it's, it's, it, it's 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 so bad because with this interview, like you are watching, like it's it's a it's a kid who did nothing wrong. He should yeah, that's, that's, the, that's thing. the tough bit, and it's yeah. a kid who loves his dad, and that's what makes this really really difficult. And and I said my hat goes my hat goes off my head to Chris Van Vliet and the way that he did it. Um, what did you reckon of it? Because I, I just I just can't see it happening because he seemed to be thinking like you'd be going to sort of AEW or maybe I don't think he thought WWE, but certainly AEW doing this Chris Benoit stuff and I just can't see that happening on such a big but you don't want to say don't do it because this is a son wanting to honour his dad and he obviously knew Chris Benoit very much differently to all of us knew him it's just it's a hard one to wrap your head around I honestly don't know what to think if you have time today it's about 48 minutes long and I know it's not enough for us to plug other YouTube channels but <laughs> Chris Van Vliet uh, and David Benoit sitting down having a chat is definitely worth about an hour of your time today do check that out and and We'd love your your thoughts on it in the comments. I do hope section. he wrestles though. I would I like to see well. David Benoit wrestle. Because like the, the, that style of wrestling, sort of the sort of Benoit Tom Billington esque style of wrestling, uh, I, I think there's always room for that style. Yeah, and, yeah. and and it, I think I'd love to see him compete in some capacity. Because it was just it was the, the thing that was so evident all the way throughout the interview was just his passion for wrestling. Yeah. And I think someone on Reddit pointed out. Uh, Chris Jericho's second book, I think it was, there was a quote in there from David Benoit after it all happened and he was speaking to Jericho and he apparently said, am I still allowed to watch wrestling? It's just, it's clear that this the wrestling is this guy's life, so if he wants to do it, go and do it. I'm just not sure if a Chris Benoit sort of tribute act is the sort of thing that's going to get him. Yeah. It's, I don't know what it is. But like you, say, like you say, you can't really say that. No, you, you can't. You it's, can't. A, it's a guy on his, it's such a hard thing to wrap your head around. His dad, but watch the interview, yeah. it's, it's incredible. Meanwhile, on Monday Night Raw, Drew McIntyre smashed it on Monday. One, <laughs> two, three. Running kick. <laughs> Is that what? Like, I'm, I don't watch um, Raw on a regular basis. I watched it uh, yesterday 
because uh, I was covering graded for Mr. Petiti. And uh, Drew looked like a star in a triple threat match with AJ Styles and Randy Orton winning the whole match, pinning AJ no, Styles. I haven't, I haven't seen this week's Raw because I was obviously cooking methamphetamine and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But on the last week's Raw, he was a baby face and the crowd were behind him because he was a big ass kicking machine who kicked off, was it No Way Jose's face? <laughs> and who cares right about off. No Way Jose? <laughs> oh, no Way Jose. <laughs> uh, but the reason why we're seeing so much emphasis on Drew McIntyre, one because he's phenomenal anyway, and, and it should be, but the other comes from uh, Tom Colligue who says, I'm told the driving force behind this renewed push uh, isn't Paul Heyman, but a decision taken to put a British talent on the WWE flagship program in order to highlight the new BT Sport deal. So this is done to tell everybody, hey look, he's British by the way, we're on BT Sport now. It's going to be like Andy Murray, isn't it? The tennis player. Yeah. So when, he win, when Drew McIntyre wins, he's British, he's fantastic, but when he loses, oh, that's Scottish, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about him. He's going to be WWE's own Andy Murray. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, there's a big push at the moment, and I've seen a lot of this on on my uh, social media timeline where WWE, uh, they've got their guys doing skits and, and, and commercials and stuff for BT Sport. Otis and Tucker in the mini. Fantastic content. Have you seen that one? I like the one where Big E uh, turns up at the bike shed <laughs> as foldable bikes only. So he folds up his own bike, which is the amazement of, I believe somebody from Sky Sports, Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but it's. Uh, I like the, the the emphasis on it is is because BT Sport doesn't have the subscriber numbers and the and the base that Sky had because WWF slash E were part of Sky TV since <coughs> like the late eighties. Thirty whole years. It Thirty was. ridiculous yeah. years. And and so it's a massive change of ch change of, of schedule for wrestling fans. Whereas with with America, I know obviously with the American with Raw, like it's jumped from USA to TNN to USA. It's back and forth quite a bit. Um, but this has been like the mainstay for WWF forever. But incidentally, even during the height of the Monday Night Wars, the the viewership of Sky still still wasn't as much as terrestrial television in the UK because more often than not in the UK, WCW won the Monday Night Wars. <laughs> it's a just... whole different story than the Monday Night Wars in the UK. Yeah, because when I was young, I always just used to watch Worldwide on Channel 5 at 7 o'clock on a Friday night. Well, Worldwide was the most watched American wrestling show in the UK. Was Net Nitro <laughs> was, was on, on was Channel 5. Was it on Cartoon Network? Am I getting that right? Was yeah, that yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Cartoon Network ended, and then it would turn into TNT. Yeah. And if you didn't have the TNT package, it would scramble. <laughs> so you could. We hear... didn't have that in my house. We were poor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that but that's but that's what they're up against. The fact that like, worldwide was the most watched because it was on a like a terrestrial service that everybody has. So you know, not a subscription service like Sky. So they've gone from that, which was which was the biggest of them all. But still not quite the reach to BT Sport, which is smaller. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a challenge here. From my perspective, BT Sport is something you add on to Sky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bolt on. It's like, it's like the 32X honking into the Mega Drive back in the day. Yeah. And so, yeah, the emphasis to put British guys across. And that's why they've also picked up NXT UK. Let's get Drake Maverick in a, pr a, a prominent oh. role as well. Let's do it. Pete Dunne, Drake Maverick. Get, get them all on. Get the Birmingham Katie lads Lee, on. get her back. Virtual. Paul, <laughs> get him and William Regal. <gasps> no, Pirate Paul Virtual. Yeah. We're going to do Virtual. We're going to do the Pirate Paul Virtual. That's the way to go. Bobby Lashley, but not Bobby Loosely. Dave Meltzer has given us an update on... That's my new one. <laughs> Dave Meltzer has given us an update on Velveteen Dream. I miss him. Oh, mate. There's a gap in the world I know. where Velveteen Dream once stood. Uh, and uh, the, the update is we still don't know when he's back. <laughs> What's Basically, wrong with him? What's wrong with him, Tom? According to Belter, it is a serious back injury. Uh, this... For carrying an ST. <laughs> hey! That's all to say. Good night, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this yeah, it's a it's a serious back injury that, that he's had for a long time now. But it just because he was still working through it, like it exacerbated it to the point where he went, like, I now need to stop and get this sorted. Had he got it sorted sooner, maybe he'd be back sooner, but we just don't know. You know what the issue is? Was this? It's the chaise longer. Oh, the chaise lounge. Get a nice, comfortable chair with good back support, man. Velveteen Dream. <laughs> it's a lounging about like this. That's not going to do any favors for your spine, is it? So you're blaming you're blaming Velveteen Dream's chaise lounge. The chaise lounge. 
That's that's not a bad shout. To Get a fair. good supportive chair, Triple H. So sadly, it doesn't look like we'll be seeing him around WrestleMania season, which that is, is a shame. A yeah. shame. Like a Velveteen Dream WrestleMania weekend entrance is always worth every single. Penny. Every single entrance is worth an entrance from a Velveteen Dream. I kind of thought this year, what with it being in Tampa Bay and obviously not not being at the venue with the pirate ship. But doing a, but there's a bit of a piratey swashbuckly theme to NXT TakeOver Tampa Bay. Mm. Pirate ship entrance for the Velveteen <laughs> Dream. A pirate ship made of men. Oh, yes! With a nice supportive chair in the middle behind the wheel. A bit like that weird, a bit like that, that weird ship from the cartoon series Mr. Pickles, where it's a whole ship made of people. Never seen Mr. Pickles. Oh, it's very weird. Uh, but I, I said so we're not getting that for a while. <laughs> when he comes back, what do you reckon? Stay in NXT, become the, the I think top he's dog. Got, uh, he's got to stay in NXT. He's too, he's too much for us, isn't he? As uh, he could translate to a main, like a proper, like you know, the casual fans and all that malarkey. But the stuff he does, it really panders to us who know what's going on in wrestling and certain yeah. references that he does. And I just think NXT is the home for Velveteen Dream. Yeah. Although I could, I could see him going. Going up or sideways, whatever you want to say. I think they call it sideways these yeah. days. I still think it should be up. NXT is still very much in my head. Like the, the it should. It, although it's not because the wrestling punk is rock, so great. man. It's punk rock. <laughs> thank, thank God Triple H introduced metal to NXT. Yeah. <laughs> Metal's been around since the 90s if you're a wrestling fan. That's an old ass Judea joke for you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but when he comes back, yeah, I think NXT is the right place for, for him to be. Uh, Put him in the mix for the NXT Championship. No, it's got to be. Ah, it's got to be. Got to be. It's time. There's your boy. It's time. There's your boy. It is time. And there's your news. It's dream time. Are you, and uh, any plans to go back and make more meth? Uh, no, I'm sort of out of it now. The, the time in Alaska sort of got out my system, and I'm just ready to lead a normal life now. I've got a new identity. My name's not Ross anymore. Oh, what is it? Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what come, end the Come the best. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. From Simon Benedict. See Benedict. You later. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.